It's your favorite YouTuber slash the Monday Philosopher and welcome to this video. I made this website, I made this 3D website, this 3JS website for Mr. Beast. And yes, I will actually sell it to him for $10,000. And I do believe that he will... This is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called 3JS Essentials, a beginner's guide, part one. This is part one of the ebook. You can definitely... I think he will be able to pay this and I think he is willing to do it because money is nothing to him or for him. So what does it say? It basically, it basically says, last person to leave this island wins one million dollars. And we will soon have a lot of people. We will keep building on this uh, on, on this little project and make it ma maybe make it into a little game show or whatever. But it will actually be very very fun to do because we will keep adding adding um, more items, more game objects, and more scenery to it, and just make it an awesome experience, a simulation of a Mr. Beast video. I think that is the project of this of this website. So what do we have here? We basically have this island. We have Mr. Beast out here always controlling, uh, just uh, being the manager of the game shows that he creates and it has the text last person to leave this island wins one million dollars but that's basically the product let me just show you how i actually created the product if we go to visual studio as you guys can see we basic so first of all you have this index.html you have the main uh, you have the main.js so index.html it uh, takes care of the of creating the skeleton of the website and also the and also the styling main.js basically provides the functionality and that is basically the magic it, it creates the magic that you see in the website scene.gltf that is basically the uh, mr beast i don't know why i renamed it this and ksi please forget about this guys and then you have the textures um and you also have the island.gltf so these two are basically 3d uh, 3d models and we basically import them here in made in main.js. So in this HTML file, you have this boilerplate. Uh, you have this boilerplate code, HTML code, and we have this header. What do we have? What have we put in the header? It's basically my first FreeJS app. That is the title of this doc, uh, web document. Down below, you have the style function. Uh, sorry, the style HTML elements. These are element. These are HTML tags, guys. So as you're aware, the style, this, um, the style and this header, and also the body and the script that we will get to. So in the style, we basically have the body set set the margin to zero, and in the info in the info segment in the style, this is basically CSS, guys. We have put the position to absolute. Um, font size to so 48, 48 pixels, color white, top top 10 pixels, width, uh, width 100 pixels, fill out the whole screen. And uh, Z index 100, so it actually gets, so the text gets pushed to, um, to, I guess, forward. What else? We have the display block. Uh, we don't want to, I think this is the one that, uh, da, 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 I don't know. Uh, padding left 2%. This is where the juice is squeezed i guess you can say that and then we basically have this uh, this body this is where, where everything happens anything that you see on the web page or in the web page actually this is where where everything needs to be written so we have this div just think about div as a container in a in web development and you give it the id of info so we can later on refer to it in the styling section then you have the head header one and then you have another header one uh, when you do see SEO, you should probably rename this to H2, but this is just for style, for styling reasons. Only that I'm doing this uh, with this method, and then we try, and then we import the main.js and do the type module because this is ES ES6 JavaScript, and this is the main juice. Now we we have uh, we have free JS guys. I cannot speak today. We have free JS. We import free as a uh, free js as free we import the gltf loader which which allows us to import and load 3d models and then we have the const scene which creates the scene we have the const camera which takes a perspective camera and actually give us a field of view this field of view is set to 75 but the default is actually 50. Uh, and we also yeah we basically want to capture everything that is in the window that inner width and window in a height and how far do we, do we want it to clip? We want it to clip at, a, at, a, at around a thousand. And we want the camera frustum near plane to be at a 0 
Then we have the const render, or this basically allows us to actually display what is happening in the window. And it is, yeah, that is just called the renderer. And you grab it by saying freejs.webgl renderer. Then you actually add the scene, the background to a color that you like. So you can basically replace, yeah, this blue color with, yeah, you can just basically say green. And it should be changed. That's basically it. That is how easy it is. I love FreeJS, man. And then we basically d display um, the renderer by saying set size to the window size. And then we append this. Then we append everything here. The, the renderer that allows us to display the elements, the FreeJS uh, code that we just wrote in the document.body, which is where you see over here, which is what you see over here, basically. So we do that through JS. This is called DOM manipulation. Uh, domain object manipulation, I do believe that is what it stands for. Then we generate a cube with 3JS, which is basically you set the geometry to 111, then you set the const material to any color that you desire, and then you have the const cube. Uh, this is just something I created in the beginning. Guys, I really want you guys to, to try this out just so you can actually play around with it as your first project or playing around with, with 3D game objects in 3JS. And then we also have the ambient light, which basically uh, works as a as a light, like uh, in a normal room in real life. So use the ambient light uh, for beginners. This will this will actually help you out. And this is this is where you can provide the intensity, the color, which is white, soft white light, uh, soft white light. Uh, const, const loader, this is basically where we get the G, GLTF loader. We import it here, we call it loader, then we load the island by saying we, we, we make a global variable so we can refer to it later on in animation also. And uh, also down below, so loader.load island.gltf, that is what you see right over here. And then we give it, then we make a function called G that takes in a parameter called GLTF. Then we say island, which is the one, the variable over here set GLTS, GLTF.scene to island, island.scale set, we yeah, it was basically too big. So we, so we downscaled it and then we set the position. And then every time you do something, every time you create something or instantiate a game object or 3D model, guys, remember to always add it to the scene, the scene that we created up here, guys. Always add everything to the scene or it will not be displayed. Mr. Beast, this is we, we, it's basically the same procedure, same method. Um, just load load scene, which is Mr. Beast. Uh, load Mr. Beast, add Mr. Beast, and then basically set Mr. Beast to a specific position. Camera that position y equals three. We just want it to be up there, so we get a bird's eye bird's eye view, and then we want the camera to look at look down upon uh, look down upon the island. And then we have the camera rotate const radius equals ten. Uh, radius of the circular path, const, ra const rotation speed. How fast do we how fast do we want it to go? Let um, we have an angle that we can also play around with. And then this is where the magic happens, guys. I love this freaking function. Function animate. This is a callback function. Re request animation frame. You can uh, you can read about it on the FreeJS documentation. And then you then you you take the parameter. Uh, sorry, uh, parameter animate. We want to update the angle of rotation that we have over here. So we say angle plus equals rotation speed, and it does this 60 times per second. Calculates it. Calculate the new camera camera position, camera dot position x, camera dot position z equals math dot cosinos and sinos, uh, and it takes in the angle. Times it by radius. And radius was what? 10. Um, yeah, I guess I just made some optional uh, doc optional code uh, co comments because I actually want to update this code. This is a very good and uh, exciting project. And then we make the camera look. So while the camera is rotating around the island, we actually want the camera to look at the island while doing so. So we have this focused perspective. <laughs> uh, and it just gives us this really great look that I will show you again later on. Camera dot look at uh, new free dot vector. And what else? Uh, this is where, where you want to focus globally. Uh, and if Mr. Beast exists, uh, then if Mr. Beast is true, then rotate Mr. Beast. And always display this. So we want to render, display all of these animations uh, with the scene and the camera. And then we call this animate function. And that's basically it, guys. And with all this code, you can create something like this. How beautiful is this?
Guys, please admit that, that this is beautiful. Please share this video. Make it go viral so Mr. Beast can actually go ahead and buy this website from me. I'll actually work on it so it will become worth a lot more so this is just the beginning i will definitely do a lot of updates it's going to be absolutely amazing thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you on the next one